this week with the aid of two flashes and two colored gels. We are about to embark on the making of heavy metal posters. Adorama TV presents You Keep Shooting with Brian Peterson, where you'll learn unique and creative techniques that will elevate your photography skills. Here's your host, Brian Peterson. Do you have trouble understanding how to use one flash? Well, by golly, then you're going to have a really hard time understanding how to use two. That's what people think. And I'm laughing because the fact of the matter is, using one is really simple. Using two is just as simple because we're doing nothing different with the second flash that we do with the first flash insofar as a setup. Hi, I'm Brian Peterson, and I am the author of Understanding Exposure and Brian Peterson's Understanding Electronic Flash. I'm here in a park in Chicago. The idea I'm about to share with you can easily be done in a city alleyway. It can easily be done in your own backyard. It can easily be done in your basement. You don't have to go to the park. I just happen to be at the park because I was here spending some time shooting some other ideas with Megan. Subsequently, the idea that I'm going to share with you does involve the use of two flashes and does involve the use of colored gels. Now we're going to create a little idea here that Megan is a rising metal rock star. She's a heck of a guitar player. She's the lead singer of her metal band. So we need to come up with a CD cover for her metal band. So I propose to Megan that we do a crazed portrait. Well, it's also, we have here in Chicago, as is true in most major cities, a stage play produced by a group called the Blue Man Group. And so the idea was born, hey, what if we do a blue man face, in this case, a blue woman face, and fiery red devil hair. Subsequently, I'm going to use two flashes. I've got one flash behind Megan with a red gel. I've got a flash in front of Megan with a blue gel. Now let's set the stage. This is 100% lit by flash. As far as the ambient exposure is concerned, I don't want any ambient exposure on her face. I purposely set the shot up here in the park in heavy open shade. My aperture choice, I'm going to be shooting these around f11. I want critical sharpness, therefore I'm using what I call the middle of the road apertures, f8, 9, 10, or 11. And at f11, when I meter off of her face without benefit of any flash, I just take a meter reading, it says take this picture at f11 at a fifteenth of a second with 200 ISO. Therefore, if I don't shoot f11 at a fifteenth, but instead shoot f11 at a two hundredth of a second, simple math tells us that she would, without benefit of any other light source, be severely underexposed. So, I'm killing ambient. That's how we come to that conclusion. f11 at a fifteenth is a correct exposure for her face for the ambient light, but since I'm set at f11 at a two hundredth, deliberately, I'm killing any ambient light. I want to kill the ambient because I want the light from the flashes to be 100% the exposure light source. So with that in mind, I've set the back of my SB900 here at f11. I've set the back of my SB900 here also at f11. Because of the gels, I have to factor in a shorter flash to subject distance because each of these gels is eating up some light. So I'm at f11 here. It says I need to be approximately 14 feet, but in fact I'm about 7 because of the blue gel. Back here on the other hand, at f11, it says I need to be, of course, same 14 feet, but you can clearly see I am right up on the back of her head. Why? Because I want that red flash to be way hot, overexposed, flaming red hair. So we are at f11, 200th of a second, blue flash on her face, red flash back of her hair she's going to go down with her head she's going to come back up are you ready megan i am ready to go and one two go take a look at that i have asked her to have this very shocked surprised expression i've also taken another shot earlier where i had her be an angry metal rocker take a look at both side by side regardless of which one you like in terms of her expression more importantly it's the flash effect that we're going after here. Blue face, red flaming hair. Two flashes. We are firing these with pocket wizards. 
that's also important, and 100% manual flash exposure mode. 100% manual exposure mode on the camera as well. That combination guarantees you every time perfect flash exposure. Until next time, this is Brian Peterson on behalf of all the metal rockers of the world, reminding you, you keep playing that music, but you also keep shooting. Adorama TV is brought to you by Adorama, your best source for the equipment and knowledge you need. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. Place your order by 7 p.m. and it ships the same day. Plus, the next time you're in New York City, be sure to visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue. Check out the Adorama Rental Company for professional cameras, lighting, computers, and more. We'll help you make the best selection to match your needs while giving you the knowledge to achieve the best outcome from your rental. Adorama is your complete solution for equipment, printing, training, and more. Adorama, more than a camera store.